Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You came back. In this week's video, what I have for you is a quick tutorial. I don't know how quick it'll actually be, but tutorial on how to do this really cool jade marble look. I'm so excited to show you guys. It took me forever to figure it out. So I'm excited to show you guys so you don't make the mistakes that I made. And yeah, if that is something that you're into seeing, go ahead and stick around and let's get into it. Hey, okay, so... Here's what I've done so far. Um, and my thumb is my favorite. It was the first one I did too. And then, you know, I just have not been able to get it exactly back the same, but I'll show you how I did this. So here's what I did um, to get this like jade kind of marbly kind of look. Um, I'm using alabaster and aloe from Cascade Color Works. I am using Sparkles Gel O2, which is just white. And then I've got some 91% alcohol that I'm using. I've got these Beatles gel polish brushes that I'm using. I have a plastic spoon, which thank you, Melissa, for this um, trick that I learned from her. I'm gonna link a video from Melissa because this girl, she knows she is so talented, y'all. If you're not watching her videos already, you're missing out because this girl is incredibly talented. And yeah, I've got my metal swatch that I'm... Swatch? <laughs> that's not a swatch. That's a cuticle pusher that I've been using to kind of get powder out. And this was my original swatch. And what I did, I do think my nails ended up a little bit better than my swatch did. But... Um, I'm using also this to hold my spoon. I This this is so ingenious uh, what Melissa does to get her marble just right. So to start out this little look, we're going to marble underneath the gel polish just to give it a little bit of an extra, you know, kind of a gemstone uneven look. So I put a little aloe in there. I'm almost out of my alabaster, you guys. I'm gonna have to get more alabaster already. I use this color literally all the time. It's perfect. Put a little alabaster in. Oops, not too much. <laughs> um, oopsies, I dropped that in my gel polish. I'm clumsy this morning. Um, and then I take the other side of my little swatch and I just kind of make zigzag lines through it. And then also I tap it together. And that's something that Melissa also does that I learned from her. Because it just kind of looks really good in there afterwards. Like I was always afraid to like move it at all when I was doing uh, marble. But... This is, I'm also not going for like the super liney, veiny marble because I'm going to do that with gel polish. So I just want it to kind of be like, you know, putting different colors. Like there's some white, there's some green, you know what I mean? In the background, I don't need it to be perfect. And I'm using triple vitamin base. This base is like almost done. It's super thick. Um, but I've been using it anyways just because... I was lazy and didn't want to get up and get my Virgo and Gemini's right here. So, sometimes that's just what you do, you know what I mean? Uh, so, we're just going to do a real good, trying to get all the way down to the cuticle layer of base so that we can do a dip into, and I always like try and bring it to the tip of the spoon as much as possible just by tapping Put my finger in there. I try not to like push down too hard, but also it doesn't really matter. Okay. Spoon back up on there. I've been using this end of my cuticle thing pusher to just kind of go around my cuticle. Because again, I'm being lazy and didn't want to try and find my toothpick. Um, we're going to give that a second and dust it off. And I'm going to do one more dip into the marble give it a little tap bring it to the tip mm. 
my light is like flashing so hopefully y'all can't see that and it doesn't like give anybody seizures one more dip I'm trying to do it over here in the green a little bit more I'm trying to get a good amount of green oh that's a lot of green okay well it'll be all right I promise You don't want to get too much white because I'm trying to like make it, you know, green like a jade. It's not too green like jade with aloe because I think this is like a jade roller. It's like way greener, right? But it's still fun. Okay. It looks super green, but I swear it's going to mellow out because I'm going to do a dip of white over it. Okay, so after I do all of that, I'm going to do a dip of clear, then I'm going to activate, then I'm going to file and buff the nail because I find that the gel goes on way smoother and easier if the nail is, you know, smoothed out. I'm not going to use that clear. This is my Adrata clear, but it's my glitter clear. So I'm going to use my Virgo and Gem, which is not my glitter clear. And dust it off with a nail brush really gently. And doing a dip of clear at this point also helps with like thickness because I just did two dips. And then I'm going to do gel polish and then I'm going to do one more dip. So it'll be like four dips with the clear that I just did total. Which is good for thickness because you don't want it to be too thin and then you break a nail, right? This is my Peppy Gel activator. I actually really like their activator. It was the only one of their liquids that I actually really liked. Let that dry for a second and then we will file and buff it. Filed, buffed, ready to go, smooth surface. If your brush is like all bunched up like crazy, you can always just put it into your alcohol, roll it out, and you can make a tip. But that's what I've done with this brush. And then I just roll it onto the paper towel to get rid of all of the excess alcohol. So I'm going to kind of go for a design <laughs> that's a little different than what I have here already, although this and this and my thumb all look pretty similar. So I'm gonna do one a little more, that's like a little more like this one. Um, and it's gel polish. So the good news is, is if you don't like it, you can always start over, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of gel polish, just a tiny bit on the tip of my brush. And I'm gonna kind of follow where the white is in the background, just to highlight the green. And it's okay if your hand is shaking because having shaky lines is a good thing. Okay, and once you have a design that you are somewhat happy with, I'm going to put some more white over here, I think. Then we get to the nerve-wracking fun part. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some alcohol and a little bit of the polish. So it looks kind of like 
you know, it's not so white. And you just kind of want to like paint it on to make designs. Just gonna kind of I'm kind of blowing out this line just to kind of make it look you know and you can kind of blow on it to like make it spread so that the whiteness will spread more to the outside um, and kind of create more lines let's blow out the side so you want to be kind of careful when you're like blowing out a side. You don't want to use too much. And just go real slowly. I'm kind of trying to encourage the alcohol to go still in lines to keep it looking like stone. And you want to make sure that you don't cover up like all of the green. I'm telling you, you want to go really slow and use just a little bit of gel polish in the alcohol. Like so, so little. Because you can always add more. But taking away, you have to like start over. much alcohol if it bubbles up like that take some of it off I see how it's a little darker over here. So I'm trying to do that, but I'm trying to take it very slowly. It's easy to get it out of control. I'm kind of drawing my new lines in the middle of where I've already laid stuff down. just to create that, you know, lines inside of lines look. And you can kind of like blow on it because it kind of spreads it out a little bit. I might just do this. Hopefully this works out for me. Sometimes this doesn't work out. Let's just pat that line out because I didn't really like the way it was looking. So I'm going to take my gel polish and just gel polish and just kind of thicken up these lines that kind of faded a bit. 
with the alcohol. Just kind of like trying, I love the way these lines look. They're way too faded though. So I'm trying to mix the right amount of alcohol and gel polish together and just slowly darkening them up. I'm trying to be so incredibly careful to not go crazy though. It can get crazy real quick. Okay. I think I'm going to call that where it is. I'm trying to just wipe off the gel polish that's all around my nail before I stick it into the cooker, cooker lamp, into the gel lamp. Looks kind of crazy right now, but we're gonna put that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so we got that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And here's the reason why it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Cause after we have put it in the lamp for 60 seconds and let the gel polish dry, we are gonna do a dip of alabaster again, just to kind of soften out all of the lines and give it kind of a faded look, which is way more like how a rock looks. So we're gonna put on our top, our base. Once we have our base good and on there, we're going to do a dip into our alabaster, which mine is getting very low. And alabaster is kind of like a sheer milky white, so that's why that works. We'll let that set for a minute with activator and then I'm going to give it a light buff.
You really want to make sure you don't buff too much down to that gel polish. Just make it all nice and even. And as you can see, you can see those little details through it, but they're very faded. And then you're just going to do activator and top coat as you would every time. But that, yeah, that is the look. And I will be back with a picture. So what did you guys think of that video? Did you like that video? I really hope that you did like this video. I know that not everybody who watches my channel plays with gel polish, but I'm telling you, you can do so much with gel polish. It's so much fun. You can get so creative. If you haven't invested yet, and you can, girl do it but all my links to everything is down below the links to all the things that i use the links to places that you can get them my amazon my instagram my facebook group wow so if you're interested in finding me on other places on social media go ahead and hit those links down below and come hang out with me because i really like that and hopefully you'd like it too that is all i have for you this week you guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye uh, I'm sitting in the car, as you may be able to tell, and I kind of regret the fact that I don't have my other thingamajingy, my other... This is where I put my phone for navigation purposes, and I don't feel like the angle is quite right, so I'm sorry if it's weird, and you can, like, see my steering wheel, it's like I'm driving, but I'm not. Did I ever tell you guys I got a tattoo uh, of our logo? <laughs> well, we did. Lauren and I did. Lauren and I both did, so. And does anybody else get uh, seasonal allergies? love the plants i love this time of year for blooming and it's so beautiful and i love it so much but i can't breathe so there's that also little sneak peek information we um have some things coming for mother's day i'm not gonna tell you what but keep your ears out the next week if you're not in cascade color works group you should join it so many fun things that are coming soon 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 who's um already broken out their shorts this year like in april like can you believe it i live in washington state for everybody who doesn't know that and it has already gotten up to like 90 degrees that's not true it just feels like 90 i think it's i think the hottest it's been is like 76 or 78 or something like that it's so fucking ridiculous first of all i like spring spring and fall are my favorite seasons so i'd really appreciate us not that skipping spring that's not fucking fair so anyways um if you're interested in my lip stuff basically what i did is i just overdrew my lips with my um wet and wild gel liner and laying down the mauves and i put well i first put a sleep mask on the one from ulta that i've showed you a million times here's a picture and then that's it blend yeah my hair has been dirty for like four days is I actually like my hair better when it's like three days dirty it like cooperates better it holds the curl better it like I can do this and it gives me volume and it just am I being boring today I feel like I'm being boring I should drink some caffeine that's probably a bad idea one of two things happens when Rachel drinks caffeine one uncontrollable anxiety and panic attacks followed by uh short bursts of erratic energy i probably shouldn't do that then i don't know sometimes i think that it would be fun to just drink a bunch of caffeine and just <laughs> see where the world takes you <laughs> that's a really bad idea